All right, guys, so in this video, what I'm going to do is highlight uh, sort of the key fundamentals on how to set up the SMB. So I have my Windows 10 and I have my Kali Linux. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is uh, enable this feature, SMB1 protocol, on the Windows server. So I have already uh, performed that state. You can see it's enabled. Um, once you've done that, uh, then you can uh, enable the Windows um, feature, uh, the optional feature for the online uh, with the feature name parameter as the SMB one protocol. Uh, and obviously you can see spelling is, uh, is incorrect but uh, you can see I've already set this up um, but obviously it states that no restarts required. Uh, other thing to do is to check <coughs> the optional features make sure the SMB settings are actually set. That's pretty much what you need to do from the window side. Jumping over to Kali I have two um, tabs open so first of all I need to get the IP address so 192.168.112.131 for my environment. Uh, once I've done that, uh, I need to set up the SAP server running on this instance. Um, you'll notice that I'm actually running on Python 3.9 uh, parameter. I have another video there where it's had an issue before, it's set to 2.7, but uh, once you've done that, Uh, what I'm going to do is um, create a file that I'm going to move from my Kali instance to my Windows environment. So simple hello in this file, give it a save and exit. So obviously to show where it is. So Kali at home, Kali tools, test file and it's 644 assigned to it. Uh, once I've done that, I go back to the window instance and then I put in the IP address of the Kali instance. Uh, you will notice I've done a couple of mess ups. Uh, the forward slash and the IP address is incorrect. Now uh, it's obviously a good practice because you'll see this hanging if it can't reach to that to the IP. Um, so if we give it a moment, um, it will essentially time out and then we can give it another go. Okay. Uh, don't forget the dot at the end as well to say that uh, you wish to put that in your current directory. Uh, for a slash obviously for that one. And then we'll also notice as well, it's 192.168, it should be. So I'll just make that quick change. Very good. Uh, you'll notice I'm actually in Windows System 32. It's obviously not a good location, so I'm just going to change that to a directory that I can see uh, pretty easily. So with that, I'll go, uh, and you'll see the individual that currently logged in as. Um, so I'm going to the IE user desktop. I'm going to run that again and actually you'll see that file pop up. So if I give that, if I open that up you'll see hello and obviously on the Unix side you'll see that it's authenticated using IE user. So pretty simple but I hope that helps. Okay thanks guys.